Hi, Agency Magic here with um, my first in my tutorial uh, series. So, um, yeah, first I show the trick and then I do the tutorial. So here's the trick. I'm using my Black Tiger deck, if y'all are wondering. I'm going to give my deck a shuffle. Alright, I'm going to go through here and find all of my spades. All right, so I have them all, and they are in a chaotic order. All right, so I'm gonna give them a shuffle. First one's an overhand shuffle. Okay, now this one I call the kitty shuffle. I saw this little kid, this had like five-year-old shuffle. Just throw down clumps of cards. Then this one is basically a perfect rival shuffle. You place one down and one up. Uh, um, if you really want to do that to a whole deck, you could get the perfect rifle shuffle. But I mean, there's really no point, as you can see. Perfect rifle shuffle. Place those on top. Now this is created by this is Australian shuffle. Place one down and one under. Uh, also known as the down under shuffle, which is kind of cool because Australia is the land down under. up a little bit all right now some people always ask me well what would happen if you didn't shuffle well then there would be order from chaos all right now this trick is done uh, in a very easy setup what you're gonna do is you can use any um card uh, any type like spades anything and you're gonna place them in this order okay from top to bottom you're gonna have the eight then the seven then you're gonna have the three then the four then the nine then the ten okay a nine ten then you got went the king a five the ace the six the two the jack then the queen now, of course, you wouldn't want it like this. You want to reverse that. So, um, okay, so then it would look something like this would be the order. From top to bottom, it's 8, 7, 3, 4, 9, 10, king, 5, a 6, 2, jack, queens on the bottom. All right. And that setup goes on to the bottom. You take a couple of cards and place them over there so you can show the deck like so. Okay, then what you do is you give it a rifle shuffle. And as long as the cards are in the lower half of the pack, when you rifle shuffle, they will stay in the same order. Okay, so then you're going to go through here and just find the spades. See, um, where are the spades? There's the eight, the seven, the three. The four, the nine, the ten, the king, the five, the ace, the six, the two, the jack, and the queen. You outjog all those and spin them out and place them down. So now you're at the same position as you were when you set the trick up. Show this and you say it's in a chaotic order. I'm going to shuffle it up to make it a little bit more chaotic. What you're doing here. So when you do the overhand shuffle, you're taking one card, you're taking two cards like that, and you're placing the rest of the deck. Then you're taking one, two, three cards, placing the rest of the deck. Then one, two, three, four cards, and placing the rest of the deck. All right, so now this is the position you're in. Okay, then you do the kitty shuffle. Now the secret to this shuffle is you're taking three cards, then two, then three, and two, and then you'll be left with three. Alright, so you start with three and with three. So now you're in this position. Okay, then you do the what I call the perfect rifle shuffle. You go down, 
take this card and square like that. Take the next card down, next card up, next card down, up like that, just alternating the cards. So then you have up, down, up, down like that. Okay, you square it up, take out the top and place them on top. Then you do um, the down under or Australian shuffle. You can make a joke about how Australia is the land down under. This is the down under shuffle created by someone in Australia. You place one card down, then one card to the bottom. So you go down, under, down, under, down, under, down, under. And you're going to continue that through the rest of the pack. So then, if you've performed all those shuffles correctly and you had your setup right, it'll end up like that. All right. Now, please, uh, I have one person that did this before and I revealed how to do the uh, floating cup. Nobody say, number one rule of magic, don't reveal secrets because how else are you going to learn this trick? I mean, yeah, there are tutorials on YouTube, but I mean, people have to post tutorials or you won't be able to learn. And the only reason you're watching this video is not to expose magic. It's because you want to learn how to do magic. That's the reason I teach. And, or, or I'm starting to teach um, is because whoever watching these videos isn't is wants to perform magic and wants to learn how to do tricks and so that's the reason I post tutorials for whoever's gonna post those comments and, and don't reveal but yeah so that's a really cool trick and I um, my next trick that I'm gonna be revealing is a really cool trick from Miss Mag 822 Alright, so thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.